In this video, I'll show you how to pin the ears and the hood and prepare for hand sewing. So I always start with flipping the fur side on my knee. It gives us a nice angle to manipulate the hood. So about three inches out, fold the hood on itself. Give a little tug on each of the sides. Make sure it's flat, lays even. That looks good. Uh, we'll put our first pin in the center, perpendicular to the cut edge. Now for hand sewing, we'll want to put the pins with the cut edge instead of perpendicular, but that's only for hand sewing. This way, we can minimize poking ourselves with our pins. Again, I'm pinning halfway, making sure the tension is good. Pinning halfway. Pinning that last part. Do the other side. Make sure it's flat. We'll pin in the same direction as the cut edge underneath. If you want to do an extra secure one just to hide that sharp edge, go ahead. And halfway again. And this last little piece. Now that that's secure, flip the hood over. Keep it on your knee. This is definitely the trickiest part of the whole cat hat. Where you place the ears really determines the personality of the hat. Start with one side, kind of lightly place the ear where you think it should be. Open that top seam out. Paying attention here to fur grain, we want to go down for a more natural look. Hold it in place. Take your pin. Do it perpendicular to the sewn center seam of the ear. Do it in one way, and then I always cross over and do it the opposite way. So that's through the outer layer and through the top layer there. Keeps it secure. So we can see we've got it about two finger lengths here. We'll want to do the same on the other side. Roughly lay it down. Just kind of roughly measure with your fingers. Yeah, that looks good. Put it through. Now we check to see if it looks even. Looks pretty close. I always flip it around to see. Sometimes looking at it so the opposite side can give you a better advantage, but that looks pretty even. I like that, we're gonna keep that. Once we have the top pinned, we'll do the bottom. So you can lightly hold it where, you, where you'd like it to stop. I always give a little bit of slack in the ear so you can manipulate it, give it a little bit more shape. Let's so pin the bottom like you did the top. Over that center seam, go underneath and through. Secure it with the pin going the opposite way. Push it all the way through. Looks good. Kind of give a measure of your hand. So that's about my full width of my hand. Visualize where that would be on this side. Give it a little bit of slack. Now you can put one pin in just to loosely hold it while you remeasure. Yeah, it's about one hand width. Secure it with a pin going in the opposite direction. Looks good. Start by shaping the back. So find about halfway. Pull the slack gently. You don't want to overextend because then you're going to be 
causing bulges here. So just loosely, loosely grab the halfway point, pin parallel to the cut edge. Looks good. Do the same on the other side. Just pull it at the halfway point. Lightly hold. Pin through the bottom up to the top, parallel to the cut line. Perfect. And you keep doing that halfway, halfway. Pin. Pin. Looks good. Do the halfway point back here. Now just like every other time we've been pinning, if you feel like you'd like to put twice as many pins in, go ahead. Just remember you have to take as twice as many pins out. <laughs> now the front, we gave it a little bit of a a curvature in the back, so we want to echo that with the front a little bit to give it some shape. Find the halfway point, push it into the ear a little bit. Take a pin, push the ear, pin parallel and against the fur grain here. Against and then toward. What we do to one ear, we always do to the other. So find center, push the ear in a little bit, pin against the fur grain, pin with the fur grain. Now this halfway, just want to pull a little of that slack. Pull it almost straight out from center. This will give it a nice little pucker. More of like a natural feel for the ear. So right on that line, we're gonna pin with the grain. Do that to the other side. Pull from center. Out of the ear. Extend it as far as you can. Can't get any further than that. Pin with the grain. It can be a little tricky. But I also like to throw in a little pin on that center line we just put. So open the ear up. You can flip it back. It's not going to hurt it at all. Pull some of that fur out. And then with the grain, put a pin in there as well. you clean up the seams now before you sew, the less you'll have to comb out later. Perfect. So with the fur grain, put that pin in there. If you feel like you want it more secure with a couple extra pins, now's the time to put them in. I'm going to put a couple extra at the bottom. So our ears are all pinned. They're looking symmetrical. Check the sides, there's good volume there. Let's get hand sewing. <laughs> 